What's up guys, Vanya from Agmovie like Farms and today I'm going to show you how to treat a shrimp disease called Scutarilla japonica. Before I can show you how to treat the parasites, we must make sure how we can identify them. The first thing to look for are these small white 1-2mm to two millimeter creatures on top of the shrimp's head or rostrum. These parasitic trematoids are called Scutarilla japonica. They generally attach themselves somewhere between the eyes or somewhere on the shrimp's rostrum. I've seen them on shrimp legs and other body parts as well, but only a few times. They generally tend to stick to the head region. The second way you can identify them is by looking for eggs in the shrimp's gill plate. The parasites normally lay the eggs in rows or in patches somewhere along this area. So how do you treat these parasites? The first step is to use a salt dip for all the external parasites. Make sure you don't use the salt that you use at home, but rather go to the pet store and ask for freshwater aquarium salt. This salt will not contain iodine. I take one tablespoon of salt and add it to a cup of aquarium water. I did however use a glass in this case for transparency purposes. All you have to do now is to dissolve the salt in the water by stirring it. When it has mixed, take the infected shrimp out of your tank and add him to the cup for about 20 seconds. You can then remove the shrimp and add him or her back to your aquarium and then throw away the salty water. As you can see here, the parasites are gone from the shrimp's rostrum. The salt dip does however not work for any eggs that's inside the exoskeleton like I showed you earlier. This brings me to step 2 removing the shrimp molts for a couple of weeks. You see, when the shrimp molts, the parasites or eggs are generally attached to the molt rather than the shrimps themselves and that's how they spread. I check on my shrimp at least three times a day to remove all the molt I can find laying around the bottom of the tank, thus reducing the chances of the parasite spreading. The last step is dosing Seachem's Paragard. I dose the infected tank for about a week and I use the recommended dosage as on the bottle instructions. Paragard is not a strong medication and is safe to use on baby shrimp. Just remember that using Paragard is not necessary but I do believe it helps killing a few extra parasites and reduces the chances of it spreading. The salt dip is cheap compared to Paragard and should be sufficient so you can skip step 3 if you don't have money to buy Paragard. Ok guys, now for your 3 tips. Tip number 1. Do your regular water changes on a day when you know you're going to be home during the 2 days following that water change day? Because after water changes, there is a higher chance of the shrimp molting during those two days when you are home and able to check on the tanks multiple times to remove these molts. If you are unable to do this, removing them twice a day, morning and evening should be sufficient. Removing them more frequently will help reducing the parasite spreading. Tip number 2. Some people say they have good success with dosing no planaria. While this may work, I have snails in my tank and I don't want to harm them. No planaria are known to cause harm to snails. They generally don't all die at once, but some do slowly die over a period of 1 to 3 weeks after using no planaria. Tip number 3. Scutarilla japonica don't really kill shrimp. However, in large numbers, they can prey on weak shrimp and studies have shown that about 15-20% to 20 of all shrimp are infected. After dosing these three steps, my shrimp are completely clear of any Scutarilla japonica and by treating them with salt and paragard, I have also not lost a single shrimp. So you can feel cutting them this way. The process takes about two weeks. In some cases, you do however have to repeat the process but rather wait 3 weeks since the first salt dip as it can add a lot of stress to the shrimp. But that's it for this video guys, if this video sucked you know what to do but if it was awesome get subscribed, press that like button and check out our other videos. I hope you guys learned something today and as always keep it shrimp.